Good evening. There's yet another attempt to resurrect the trouble-plagued South Bulai Balambi West former thin seam coal mine. The New South Wales Minerals and Resources Minister has given the operation the go-ahead despite major concerns from some sectors. A report looking into the economic impact of the wind sports and entertainment centres will be tabled tomorrow. The Wollongong Sports Ground Trust commissioned the Illawarra Regional Information Service, which will release for the first time details relating to the benefits and business the facility creates. Red poppies have been worn with pride as the Illawarra marked 85 years since the guns fell silent on the Western Front, signifying the end of World War I. Remembrance Day honouring more than 100,000 Australians who have made the supreme sacrifice over the last century. A group of local builders lobbying the state government for home warranty reform has described as positive talks with Commerce Minister John Delabosca. The group met with the minister yesterday, handing him a number of proposals for industry change. In sporting news, some of Australia's best ski paddlers are expected for Sunday's second annual Toothbrush Island Marathon. The organisers and a new sponsor hope the race will become one of the world's blue ribbon ski events. That is 7.30 Win News. More news in an hour. Full details. Win News Late Edition, 11.30.